I'm done. I'm seriously done. This show is just crap. I gave it a chance, you know? Normally, you give a show two episodes to see if you like it or not. I gave Agatha four episodes, and we're all pretty much halfway of the season not boring it's just boring not much happens we got the trial the trial is just dumb as fuck that the the fire witch she has a family curse it's this really i would say cool looking demon looking thing i would say the face looks very similar to that insidious creature uh, i haven't seen that movie but i've seen that design in pictures and shit that looked cool aubrey plaza as soon as she shows up she steals the show anything she does is really funny there's even a point where she's just laying on the couch reading a newspaper that's basically me watching the show could give two shits about what's happening and i know some of you guys who are fans of the show is going to defend it saying how much of an idiot i am or how boring it is to hate some thing yada 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 you can have those opinions that's fine the show i don't know i mean when i told mom about the show because she likes witch stuff she just says that sounds boring doesn't sound like charm which we both love charm you know witches kicking ass killing monsters like even like buffy as well here it's just walk on a road we go into some retro 70s 80s type of setting then we sing a music video to solve a problem escape room type of scenarios rinse and repeat and maybe someone dies along the way look if you like the show that's fine don't let me take that away from you but you got to realize that not everyone's gonna like what you like but I've watched the show, so I have every right to shit on it because, in my personal opinion, it's boring. This is one of the MCU's most boring show I've ever seen. For something that has witches and magic and demons and stuff like that, I don't know how you can make it so boring. At least Acolyte was somewhat entertaining to make fun of. Here, it's just, I don't know, I got... I got nothing to say. I mean, I could make fun of the queer stuff that they keep throwing around. I know a lot of channels make fun of it, but to me, it's just, I don't care, you know, whatever. Sleep with whoever you want. I would say it's just weird that Agatha goes to I hate you to, okay, I want to make out with you, which is so bizarre. Again, it's just catering to that shipper audience, which stop, stop catering to that audience. They're a minority. If you want shipper stuff, go read fanfic. That's where it belongs. Because again shipping just ruins shows hate to break it to you but then you're gonna say oh but wiccan is gonna be wiccan mephisto might show up scarlet witch might show up look i'm not gonna go through an entire season of slug if it comes up in a clip on youtube I'll watch it and I'll go, okay, that looks pretty cool. And that's it. It's not worth the journey of just boredom. <laughs> it's not worth it. It really isn't. But once eventually Josh and I start our podcast, we'll probably talk about the early seasons of it. Yeah, because again, I'm done. I'd rather watch and talk about the penguin. I'd rather watch something that's good because time is our most valuable currency. And I think I traded enough of my time with this show. You can't tell me that it gets good at the end. First impressions always matter when it comes to a TV show. And the first two episodes should hook you. It should not take over half of a season for you to really get into the show. But if you like the show, go ahead. Enjoy it. I, again, could care less. Whatever you say, honestly, do not give a shit. You, so you're the ones just making yourself look like the Gumby. If you're just going to say L take, bad take, boring take. Uh, I, I mean, if you say you like the show, then that's fine, you know? I respect it. But you're wasting your breath if you're commenting on just bad take or you suck. Because that's not an argument. Because to me, the characters are not interesting at all. While Agatha is quite bitchy in the show, intentionally. But th there are just times where Catherine Hahn sort of overdoes it in some scenes. Episode 1, she did it the most. When it's supposed to be more serious setting. With the true crimes type of scenario. She was the only one that was not taking it seriously. Which doesn't make sense because she's supposed to be brainwashed. Asleep in bed. Total loser or totally lying? Let's find out. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, that, that part of her performance was god-awful. And why why is Billy just a stereotypical gay kid? Like, you could have put more depth into his character, but he's just basically a stereotype. Like, there's no- like, there's no dimensions with this character at all. He's just the token gay kid. 
Now, I don't remember him being like that in Young Avengers. It's been a while since I read that comic book, but I just feel like this is just a pale adaptation of the character. And I know he's going to get the costume, the pop vinyl spoiled it, but who cares? It's just the costume. When the writing is shit, all that production, all that visual effects, it doesn't matter when the writing is shit. I do apologize with the swearing. I, I really do. Trust me, I'm calming myself down, all right? It's just, this show's got me heated. I just, I'm so glad that Marvel is moving away from all this nonsense. It's just most of this is done and ready to be released because we, we have Agatha and we got Ironheart, which who cares about Ironheart? She was the worst part in Wakanda forever. Oh, and don't try the whole bigot thing. Don't say I don't like gay characters because Billy's just cringe. I'm sorry, but Vi is a really great and well-written character in Arcane, and don't give me that crap that, oh, it's just animation. Well, hey, to break it to you, it seems like animation are doing stories a lot more better than live action these days. And I cannot wait to talk about Arcane Season 2. But yeah, there's really not much else to say, honestly. I, I said my piece about this show. You know, I'm just the dumb Gumby that, I guess, doesn't like witch shit. I don't know. Freaking sue me for not liking a show about witches. But yeah, I like a witch series called Charm. That was cool. This is not. And I'd rather not listen to that freaking ballad every time they have to use it. Uh, that whole part was just a music video for that stupid song. That's all it was. So no thank you. I'm done. After I'm done with work, I'm going to go watch Penguin and talk about that because it looks like a better show. I'd rather not be a negative Nancy about it, but at least I can say that I gave Agatha a shot. Wasn't for me. Boring as hell. Characters are not interesting. Characters are not likable. If it was a show taking place in its own universe, not part of the MCU, it would not get this much flack. But because it is part of a universe filled with superheroes and your main demographic are more interested in the superhero side of things, of course, we're not gonna like it. Of course, we're gonna shit on it because this just feels way out of place. And then I ask, who was this made for? Who was it made for? It was definitely made for people who are not into superheroes at all. It's made for people who live only on the internet. And it's definitely made for shippers, I guess. Because this is not made for a lot of Marvel fans. That's for damn sure. And Marvel Studios know it since they didn't release the viewership until a full week later. It's not getting that much attention. I hate to say it for those who like the show, but that's the hard truth. No one's watching it and people who did gave it a try are leaving like myself, but at least it has a beginning, middle, and end, so, so you won't have to worry about having a cliffhanger. But yeah, enjoy your show, that's all I can say. Have a nice life, and keep in mind, these are the opinions from a Gumby.